You ain't making money like we do, no, don't know, don't know. for tuning in I actually can't even believe I'm sitting here in front of my camera actually talking with you guys and I'm ready to show you guys my tutorial look for like every day that I do the work the product that I use my little tips my tricks the tools I use as well and these are not all of my tips and tricks either I see a lot of it on Instagram tutorials it's trending at the minute Things that my friends tell me as well that they do, I kind of entwine it in with what I do as well. So, yeah, a lot of people have been asking me to get back on YouTube and do this. But honestly, I'm so shy. I'm probably the shyest person you'll ever meet. But it depends really. I mean, I've never done anything like this. I'm in the comfort of my own bedroom. A little drink here, so why not? Prep my skin beforehand. If you're wondering what I use, I use the Pixie Skin Treats Glow Mud Cleanser. You can see it there actually one of my favourite cleansers. I use this morning, noon and night. It's really good for just deep cleansing. It adds nutrition to the skin. It also exfoliates um, as it has glycolic acid in there. So I would say if you do use this cleanser, please use an SPF after. As it is for all skin types, be careful if you have sensitive skin because of the glycolic acid in there. I know that sometimes that can cause redness and stuff like that. So always do a patch test beforehand. Um, secondly, probably a little bit silly to go in with this, but because I know my skin can, can actually take this, um, I use another scrubbing exfoliator. This one isn't that harsh, it's very very subtle on the skin um, as it has moringa and bamboo which is very purifying for the skin. Um, it's very brightening, such a nice exfoliator and that is from Rituals and that is from their ritual called Namaste and I love Namaste because it means peace, you know. That's the story behind that and those are the two cleansers I use in the morning. I'm then going to go in with a serum. You're going to want to use the serum because it goes deeper into the skin and adds a lot more nutrition. I do use a couple, but today I'm going to use the Dior Prestige. I believe it's called Rose Grandevel Serum. This serum is gorgeous. Probably the best product I have ever, ever used in my life. It's so revitalizing. It's age defying as well, which means it helps against aging. I'm 22 years of age and I did not think that my skin was aging but after this I saw a massive difference. My skin was plump and it felt nourished, it felt hydrated, I broke out less. I don't usually break out um, but after using this I don't seem to break out as much anymore. You just pump one to two pumps in your hand and you're just going to want to press it into the skin. this before I go to bed because your skin is sleeping so that's the best time for it to repair itself with beneficial products like this. The next product that I'm going to use is the Dior Prestige La Creme Perfecting Face Cream. I love this cream because it's so moisturising. really does prep the skin for makeup as well. It's just really good to add into your makeup routine. I get this little pea size and just stab it all over my skin. But I'm then just going to massage it into my skin all over. People think because you put a primer on before your makeup it's good enough. Best results you'll get is if you do your skincare routine before your makeup because makeup just won't solve everything, believe me. I do have dry to normal skin so I do tend to put on a lot more than I probably should but I just want to make sure that my skin doesn't feel dry or cakey when the makeup goes on. As I have prepped my skin, I'm now going to go in with the Huda Beauty Silk Balm for my lips. Also really hydrating as well and it just plumps the lips which I think is really cool. Huda Beauty really knows her stuff so anything I use from her there's no doubt that I don't like it. So once I have put on my lip balm, I'm going to go in with the Velour Ooh, Pencil. Um, this is actually a all-in-one eyebrow set. 
The packaging is gorgeous, so easy to use. It's all in one, which is really cool. Um, you've got your spoolie, your pencil, and then brow balm in the shade dark brown. They actually sent this to me. I'm actually really privileged to be in partnership with them. Um, but they do beautiful lashes as well. I have them here. I'm really going to show you. But that is for another time. I just get the spoolie. And I go in with my Got To Be Ultra Glued um, brow gel. Well, it's not a brow gel. It's just a styling gel. But I just use it for my brows. I'll dip that in just a little bit. I'm going to take this off. I don't usually go for triangular shaped brow pencil because I think they will make my brows look really bushy and I do have a lot of brow hairs anyway. I'm just going to line up the bottom of my brows. I'm just filling in the top of the brow, around the brow, which is where my bold bits are. my brows is the Kevin Coin Essential Skin Enhancer. I love this. This is so, even though it's quite thick, it's so creamy and so easy to glide. The colour of it comes out really nicely. Sometimes when I use concealers, I feel like I have to go in with like a powder or a bit more concealer on top because it's not giving me that coverage and that highlight that I like. But this is so gorgeous. I'm using the shade SX13. This is really good for a night out as well, but I do love to use it on my brows. So take a really small brush. With this, you don't need to use too much because it's very thick, so a little goes a long way. You can either just swerve it over or you can just take your time and line it up. I will show you how I do both on each side. it doesn't matter how you put that highlighter on you'll still get that nice highlighted eyebrow whichever one's easier for you for beginners I would definitely advise to take your time but then I normally just go all the way over and down my eyelid don't be afraid to ask somebody in the store can I have two shades lighter of a highlighter because they a makeup artist will understand you as I used to be like, oh, do I really go like two shades lighter? Like, I'm going to look a bit crazy. But when everything is blended, it will be fine. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm going to use this powder by Chanel. The Libra Loose Natural Finishing Powder. I've heard so much about this powder. But this powder is in the shade 40. There's multiple shades that you can get now. I believe there was a formula that they had before um, and it's changed, but it's still just as good to me. I love it. I'm just gonna use this and put it on top of my eyes so my eyes won't crease where I put that concealer. The eyeshadow palette I'm gonna use for actually a Hudder Beauty dupe that I bought from Amazon and it is called Aromas by You Can Be. They're actually really popular on Instagram. Their eyeshadows are actually ridiculous like, and still so pigmented and it's really, really nice. Highly pigmented um, and I love that. So this is the shade that I'm going to use first called Secret. It's always good to start off with like a really nice light colour. So you're just kind of building your eyeshadow. So I'm going to start off in the crease. And what you want to do is you want to work your way in. I do want to make my eyes a little bit smoky, so I'm going to go in with Wondering. A really nice dark purple. Just going to take a little fluffy brush, dab it in Teddy, and just swerve that all over my eyelid. Nothing too crazy, quite simple, quite soft. Um, 
now that I feel that my skincare has set in really well, I'm then going to go in with the Glossier Future Dew Primer. This is such a beautiful primer. It's also a serum as well. It's like an oil-based hybrid serum. Very moisturising and nourishing for the skin as well. It gives you that extra, extra glow for that dewy skin finish. Um, it also gives you that summer glow as well. And that bottle just looks beautiful. It's gorgeous. This is actually a bronzer brush. But I just like to use it to swerve over my face because it just works a lot quicker. This is by The Real Techniques. The way the foundation will latch onto your face now is just unbelievable because this is such a good primer. It just makes your makeup last so much longer as well. You can also wear it by itself if you just want to go out on them days where you just want to run a few errands and you want to have that glowy, dewy glow. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so next, the foundation that I'm going to use is by Giorgio Armani, which is a luminous silk foundation, and that is in the shade 10. Currently the best foundation going after 20 years it's been around. The first ever luminous foundation. Also got micro fills as well, so it works really well with any skin type, any product that you use with it. Um, it's lovely, it just makes the skin look so silky, like a cushion. It gives you that healthy glow, that natural skin finish, which I love. So I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm gonna put a few pumps on my face. under my eyes as of yet as I don't want there to be too much creasing. I'm then going to set my face with the Born This Way setting powder, the translucent deep powder. I've been using this powder lately and I didn't think it was all that good in the beginning but then I started noticing a massive difference in the way my foundation would kind of sit, the coverage that it gave, the way how it blended in with my skin really well and I just love the finish. So I'm now going to go back in with the Kevin Acoin Concealer. I'm going to go back in with my sponge and blend it out. in these areas is where sculpting becomes really essential because it kind of gives your face a different lift, a different look, a proper transformation and it's probably one of my best my best and favourite parts in doing makeup. After this I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. I just feel like this powder is more true to tone than always using a banana powder especially on an everyday basis, you know. Just depends how you like your makeup. You don't actually have to use one that's true to tone. If you like it a bit brighter, you can always use that banana powder, nothing wrong with that. So I'm now gonna contour, and if I'm honest, I don't always use like a heavy contouring concealer um, or a pasty contour, so I like to just use my bronzer. And this one is by Ben's Beauty. I used it in my last video. Um, I like to use this one because it's really good for summer as well. I'm just warming up the skin really. And now I'm all bronzed up a little bit. I'm going to bronze down my nose. gonna get some mascara now and just go under my eye. The mascara I'm gonna use is by YSL. This is a really nice mascara for just making the lashes look really black, really intense. I have to say I actually love using an eyeshadow as a blush because I feel like the pigments come out a lot better. I'm gonna use Fairy Tail that I used on my eyes in the beginning and I'm just going to use that on my cheeks. I 
it's always just best to smile and put it on where your cheeks feel really chubby. I like to use an angled brush like this because I feel like I can get it on a lot easier. It kind of just goes where I want it to go naturally. The highlighter that I'm going to use is by Illamasqua Beyond Powder. I remember when it first came out and there was like a massive hype about it and I never waited to get it. I've had it for years and I kind of just put it on my cheekbone. I love it because it just comes out a lot more natural than a lot of highlighters and I feel like it's so buildable. It doesn't matter how much you put on, it will still look really natural. I just go down the bridge of my nose. You can use a smaller brush, but I feel like if you're too precise, it will look really fake. <laughs> so I just brush it all over where I want it to be really highlighted. So now for my lips, I always use this ColourPop lip pencil um, in the shade BFF4. I love it. It's very creamy stays on for a long time. And the lip crayon I'm going to use is in the shade Clever called Paint Polish Lip Pencil by MAC. This is also quite glossy. I just love the finish that it gives and it suits any lip liner, even a purple lip liner. best thing one of my favorites as well really nice every day so now this is the finished makeup look i hope you guys enjoyed that little video put it on me but baby it's you i like all right but take your stuff Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please like and subscribe. Let me know how you felt about this video in the comments below. I'll put all the details in the description box. So like and subscribe for more content. Again, this is all so new to me. So everything that I'm doing within this video and the videos to be filmed is all a learning curve. So please let me know if there's anything that I can do or you think I could improve on um, for my next video because I'm really wanting to do this a lot more and it was a pleasure filming for you so until my next video thank you take care and love and light Bye. now you want to blame me like you have no options I take your options now I'm not the